In this LaTeX tutorial, I'll show you guys how to create tables in LaTeX. Now you first want to begin a Tableau environment. And it's good practice to end environments as soon as you start them, just so that you don't forget to end environments later on and you know mess up your code. Next, you want to tell LaTeX how many columns you want. So in this case, the table I'm trying to recreate has three columns. So I'm going to type C, C and C. Now C tells LaTeX that the text in my first column is to be centered. I could have also typed R and R would have right justified my text. L would have justified my te text towards the left. So for now, I'm going to stick with three columns and I want e and each of those columns has the text centered. Now you have to use the pipe symbol to tell LaTeX that you want vertical lines separating each column. So this pipe symbol over here tells LaTeX to draw a vertical line between these two columns. And now you can actually start filling in the data. So I'm going to type name, age, and major. And to distinguish between these columns, you're going to have to use the ampersand symbol. So this ampersand symbol tells LaTeX that name, age, and major all go in different columns. Now to switch those, you're going to type double backslash and you can start filling in all your data. Again, the ampersand symbol tells LaTeX that Raj 19 and Maths go in different columns. Raj goes in the first column, 19 belongs to the second column and correspondingly Maths is in the third column. And I'm going to use double backslash to change lines. Okay. Now let's hit compile and see what our table looks like. And here we have our table. Now we can add, we need to add a bunch of horizontal lines to make this table look more complete. And you can do that by using the hline command. So now the hline command gave us a horizontal line. So let's add a bunch of hline commands to our code so that our table looks more complete. And when I hit compile, I should get a more cool. Yeah, there we go. Now let's add two vertical lines right here so that our table looks better. And you can do that by using the pipe symbol. Yes. Now we want this table to be centered and you can use the centering declaration for that. So if I type centering before the table environment command, my table will be centered. Now, a lot of people want to add captions to their tables and you can easily do that by housing all of your table code inside a figure environment. So you're going to type begin figure and end figure. And to add a caption, you're going to type caption, backslash caption. And then let's just call this table example table. And we should get a caption right here. There we go. Now, something that you're going to encounter a lot when creating figures and tables in LaTeX is that your figures aren't always going to be where you want them to be. For example, my table over here is at the bottom of the page, even though I want it right under the setting. So to change a figure's position, you're going to use the float package. So add this package to the preamble of your document and then use the command H, capital H, and hit compile and your figure would be repositioned. So what this command does is, it tells LaTeX that you want your figure to be positioned exactly where your code is. Another popular package that people use is called the BookTash package, and you can use this package to make your tables look much better. So go ahead and add this package to the preamble of your document. So before using the BookTash package, I'm going to copy and paste my code so that you guys can see the before and after. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the first hline command by a new command called top rule and the second hline command by a command called mid rule and the third and the last hline command, sorry, by a command called bottom rule. And I'm going to delete all of these other hline commands and I'm also going to delete these pipe symbols right here. And when I hit compile, I should get a new prettier table. Yeah. So as you can see, this table does look arguably better than the first table. And you can create tables like these using the BookTabs package. So that's it for this video. Tables are really easy to create in LaTeX. And let me know if you guys have any doubts. I'll be happy to solve them. And I'll also leave a link to this project in the description so that you guys can go through the code again and clear your own doubts if you have any.